It was an interview that touched on a wide range of topics, and part two focuses on Alan's personal side as he talks about some of the changes in his life over the past few years. Check it, check it down, check it, check it, check it from the crown. I ain't lying from Zion to find devil base and travel rebel who calls the walls on the ball, bring it back. Attack the whack, I'll never die. Keep and multiply from the force of the third eye. When you look in the mirror, other people might see the tattoos, they might see the new headband, they might see the cornrows. What do you see? You know, when I look through that, in that mirror, um, I can see something. I see an image, you know, so I'm not a vampire. I'm, I'm human <laughs> just like everybody else. And, you know, once people start to understand that, then they understand me and other athletes as well, you know, that we are just human just like everybody else. What has made the most dramatic change in your life? Is it prison? Is it your entry into the NBA? Is it becoming a father? Is it the loss of your good buddy Ra? Or all the all those things, all those things. But becoming a, a father and a husband um, and a, just a strong family man. Period had a lot to do with it because a lot of people look up to me and my family. I mean, I'm talking about people that's older than me, not because of because I'm a basketball player, because I, I try to take care of my responsibilities and the people that matter to me and myself. But I really turned the corner when that happened to Ra, because that was my friend for 11 years before all this NBA stuff, college and all that. I mean, that was my buddy, you know. I mean, we slept on the same floor together, slept in the same bed together, you know what I mean? He was my man, he, he meant so much. And then for that to happen, I kind of cherished life a little bit more. Like I, I concentrate on things that I didn't concentrate on as much. Like what? For rock. Just valuing anything that's mine, you know, and anything that I love. And, and I mean, even, even my finances, you know, um, he died and, and didn't have anything and left three kids. Are you taking care of them? I have to, you know. I mean, their, mo their mother does a great job of, um, you know, taking care of that responsibility without him. But I'm just there to help her, you know, in, in any way I can. And that's just not financially, you know. And I remember when all people could talk about is my friend and how they were bringing me down. And now I just wish he could be around for people to talk about him and, and oh, yeah. talk about him bringing me down, you know, when he never did. You know, somebody brought him down. Who's had the biggest influence on your life? My mom. She is the special woman. How? She was hard. She was, she was tough. She was determined. She punished you? Hell yeah. I got my ass whipped on many occasions. <laughs> <laughs> many occasions, you know what I mean? But my mom was just somebody that I always believed in and, and for her to tell me that I can be an NBA basketball player or NFL um, football player I mean I always believed it just because she told me you know um, when guys on my block used to laugh at me when I told them nah man I don't want to smoke that or nah I don't want to drink that you know I'm gonna be an NBA player you know they used to laugh at me. How old were you? Ten years old you know I mean, when, I, when I'm from 10 years old, guys are drinking and smoking heavy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I always thought, you know, because my mom told me that I could be anything. I always just believed it. You know, I always believed it. And I mean, I guess that helped me to get to where I'm at right, right now. Do you have anything on you that is representative of mom? I got a name on my chest, an initials on my chest, right by my heart. Was, Don't know where. was that one of the old tattoos that's been there? Yeah. You only had two when I think I first met you. I only you had, had the, one. The bulldog? That was it. That was it. And now the rest of the body got inked up. I like the one on the neck, because that kanji that stands for? One arm stands for loyalty and one arm stands for crew thick. Well, crew thick is the gang, the guys. The rap gang. The rap they just, gang. They're just a rap gang, man. Good buddies that I know. They support yeah. you from day one when we first sat. And it's not even about rap. I mean, crew thick is friendship. We're right there, crew thick, gonna be with each other. We lost one, we're just not gonna lose no more. And the loyalty, why put that on your neck? Because that's what, that's what, to me, means everything about Allen Iverson. I'm loyal, you know? I'm a loyal family man, I'm a loyal friend. Anybody that I call my friend know I'm loyal. 
When you turn around, I ain't got no big dagger ready to stick it in your back. Never. And I want those type of people around me.